He's left his job. He's left Switzerland. He has no secure income. He is uh, what I would call uh, a tax refugee because of uh, his attitude toward uh, what he saw inside the banking system. I mean, I worked in Cayman, I had exposed to the BVI's, Bermuda, uh, Guernsey, Jersey, Isle of Man, uh, Mauritius. Those governments are criminals. They are aggressively promoting crime in other countries. He's a perfect example of a whistleblower, a man who realizes that something he is doing is in fact fundamentally unacceptable. The quality of the data that um, Rudy published on WikiLeaks is very high. And the paperwork needs to be looked at and examined and investigated properly. An entire industry based upon secrecy is under threat. And these people are responding the only way they know how, which is to attack the people who are trying to degrade that secrecy. It's trying with money, everything, what they can to silence him. This is psychological warfare on a family and we complained with the police, nothing happened. Uh, every time when the police, uh, we called the police, the guys were already gone. There is no doubt that private investigators were following him. You make mistakes, that's for sure. I think he was completely unprepared to play this role of whistleblower and it's taken him literally years to work out how to do it. It took him a long time to kind of develop a new thought and to get out of the anger and to see a light in the end of the tunnel. If I would be afraid of death, I would be mad after 10 years.